A group of more than 1,000 doctors have banded together in support of a voice to Parliament today. Doctors for Yes have officially launched their campaign and they believe the voice will improve health outcomes for Indigenous communities. Joining me live now is Doctor for Yes convener, Dr Adam Steinberg. Adam, thanks so much for your time. appreciate it. Why are you the Good convener? Good to be here with you. Uh, and why, have you, why are you so passionate about this? Yeah... Um, a group of us, um, individual doctors, really believed that there was a space for healthcare to become more part of the discussion when it came to the referendum. And we convened Doctors for Yes to really complement what the big peak representative bodies were doing to, and to really say loud and clear that doctors support the, the referendum. OK, so why? What, what practical outcomes do you believe The Voice will have in the health space? Mm. Yeah. So, so more than a thousand doctors have signed up to our campaign. These are doctors who cross all different specialties across all the states and territories of Australia. These are doctors with experience in community who have seen the stark inequity in their day-to-day -day practice. And these inequities um, cannot be tolerated. The status quo um, is implorable and I, we believe strongly that um, through recognition, through self-determination, that is the way to achieving better health for Indigenous patients and their communities. Yeah, I hosted an event uh, last week and it was all about rheumatic heart disease and the scourge this is mm. in Indigenous communities. And basically um, what Indigenous people are saying, including Noel Pearson, is that a voice would actually mean uh, that this didn't go unnoticed anymore because it, largely some of these health uh, problems I'm not saying about lack of funding, but sometimes they, they need it to be treated in a different way. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, so if we look at kidney disease, um, chronic kidney disease is twice as more likely to be experienced by First Nations Australians. They're four times more likely to die of kidney disease. Um, the 25% of the territory's population is First Nations, yet um, Indigenous people occupy more than 90% of dialysis chairs. And when it comes to accessing dialysis treatments and transplantation, mm. there's stark inequity. And this is due to a whole host of factors. And a lot of these factors really need to be addressed at a community level, listening to community on the ground in community to start to develop an approach and a framework to address these problems. Yeah, if I could come full circle again. We can see this, actually. Yeah. Well, Doctor, why, mm. why would a voice actually start to fix these inequities, do you think? What would it change? Yeah, so, so when you start to... Um, fundamental to medicine is listening to our patients. And I think when it comes to um, communities, listening to communities to find out the best approaches that match their needs is the way moving forward. And we've seen this with different initiatives across COVID, across um, primary care and diabetes management. We've seen this in Central Australia with different dialysis initiatives that when you bring the voice in earlier, when programs, initiatives and frameworks are designed, conceptualised and then implemented with community, by community, you, you achieve better health. OK, Dr Adam Steinberg, we really appreciate your time this morning. Appreciate it.